Hello, welcome back. It's Saturday the 8th of August today and I am super pleased to be sharing part three of my patio garden makeover with you. Um, yesterday I power washed the back wall, the patio furniture and the actual slabs. And um, well, when I say I did that, I've done half of the patio or three quarters of the patio. There's still a quarter of the patio which has got loads of stuff on and is really messy that I need to do. But I kind of need to move things from side to side so that will be the next bit the next phase after I've got this back wall painted this morning I went to um, the paint center that I always use for um, any paint that I need for the house and they're able to color match because if you watched um, the patio makeover the first episode I did I did a little tester on the back wall and um, there isn't enough to actually completely paint that area and I quite like that colour. So what I did was I had to um, ring them yesterday just to check that they had paint in stock and they were open and stuff. And they said just to paint a bit of the paint that I already had on some white paper. Um, so I did that and it's just this colour here. And then they were able to um, kind of put that in their machine and they came up with a colour match, which is just above here. And it's much darker um, well, it's not much darker, but it is a it is a darker colour, but I'm really happy with that. So they mix that up for me and I've got a really big pot of that. Because of, um, you know, COVID and lockdown in certain parts of the UK, they're not getting any deliveries at the moment. So the standard masonry paint that I wanted wasn't in stock, but they were able to actually mix up a um, more expensive one, which I got for the same price. So I'm really happy with that. It's got a 20 year guarantee apparently. And um, I've got five litres of that as well. So we'll see how we get on today. Um, I'm really hoping though that I can get the whole back wall done. Um, at least one coat. I'm imagining that it needs two coats, but we'll see how we get on. And then if I've got enough time, I'm gonna try and move some of the other furniture to this side so I can power wash um, the other side of the patio. Before I get started with the painting, I did want to just remove um, these screws here that have been left by the previous owner. I think she had some metal kind of hanging art on the wall there. But um, we've got two workshops in the house and I don't know where Lloyd's toolbox is at the moment. So I'm just going to have to paint around those. But I do have some um, masonry filler as well. So as soon as he's back, I can ask him to take those out for me, fill the holes and then just paint over that. So we shouldn't be able to tell. <laughs> So look at it, I can't believe how amazing it looks just after one coat. It was so hot out here earlier though, I had to just go in as soon as I did one coat. But I think 100% um, needs a second coat. Um, you can just see down at the bottom there where there's like some stones that go all, all the way around. Um, just down by there, it, it needs a good two coats just by there. But I think I might actually move all of those stones now and, put, and get some kind of nice blue slate or something, um, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, as I mentioned earlier, all of the um, trellis needs to be completely replaced, but there's a bit on the corner just there that never had any. So Lloyd had a look at that earlier and 
um, has priced up some wood. He is off work next week, the week after next. So I think that is going to be a job for him, just taking away that trellis and then putting new trellis up all the way around. But what I'm going to do is get the wood paint to um, do all of the wood at the same time. So when he actually makes it, I can paint all of the wood before he makes the trellis and then that will look really neat. Um, but also it will mean that if it's been, if it's brand new wood, it's been treated, I know I've got a good few years, that it's gonna look really good there. So I can then just find a really nice kind of climbing plant or something to go all around there and just make it look really Mediterranean. Um, but yeah, I am so pleased and um, just, Thank you for watching this video because by watching this you're kind of spurring me on to get the next bit of the um, project done. But now it's Saturday evening, it's about it's 20 past five now. We've got more parents coming over for dinner this evening. Um, it was his dad's birthday, perfect and the weather was so nice. So what we do is just put all the furniture we need to that in the evening and then early next week I think I just need to work on the area behind that is really messy. So, yes, there you go. Let's get this tidied up. So it's a bit tidier now but I've made a bit of a mistake because um, we've got trees kind of overhang and I power washed the patio set yesterday and it's black it's blackberry time and there was birds in the tree and they've left presents on the table so I've just hosed the table down and it's completely soaking wet now and I need to actually scrub scrub it so it's nearly six o'clock hopefully it will dry in about an hour and a half and um, if you're wondering what that um, kind of sink is I have absolutely no idea it was just left in the house when we bought it but it is so heavy I can't move it so I'm going to have to get Lloyd to help me move it but then again no idea what I'm going to do with that sink so if you've got any ideas what I can do with that sink to make it a feature let me know I'd be really interested but it's so hot here no idea what the temperature is but mega hot anyway I'm going to scrub this table now and then I've got to make some um I made some fruit tea wine a little while ago and it's really strong so I'm going to make a Pim's type drink for a bit later on and then just get ready and relax for the evening. So thank you so much for watching. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you'll be notified of all of my latest videos. This is the third video in my patio garden makeover so if you've not seen the other two I will put a link to the playlist just up there in the corner for you to watch so please catch up on those and there's a couple of other videos up on the screen that YouTube think you'll like so please go ahead and watch those and I will catch up with you in the next episode. Bye!